that my first semester that I did for the plot, I was on my bathroom floor crying. I was in my room crying. Just get comfortable. Because I know my last videos, my other videos have been real short. I talk a lot. Welcome to my channel. This is Heaven. If you're new here, my name is Heaven Simone. And if you're returning, thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. In today's video, as you can see by the title, it's going to be a freshman college advice. So if you're a senior right now, you're in high school, you're a junior, you're just like looking at stuff. And like if it's like you're going into like your second semester, does that make sense? Can people do that? Like transfer in their second semester? Yeah. If you're like going to a university your second semester and you're watching this video, yes. So, okay. But this is for like all. I go to an HBCU. I go to Prairie View a and University. So I love my college, love my HBCU. But this isn't going to be just an HBCU video because I don't want to like tone down my viewers. I want it to be for everybody. So this is just going to be college freshmen all around the board, PWIs and all that. But I do recommend you go into an HBCU pool. Go to an HBCU. I'm just saying, like, you won't regret it. And, I mean, if HBCU isn't your thing, then I guess go to PWI. Whatever. But most of my stuff is really tailored towards HBCU. I'm going to do an HBCU video after this one. So just stay tuned for that one. It's going to be like an HBCU edition. But I'm going to do just an all-around-the-board video. And this is targeted for girls and boys. I know girls watch YouTube more than boys, so keep that's so funny because y'all boys are really ipad kids it's so funny i know i'm gonna talk a lot and i'm gonna get like very um mm, i'm gonna get distracted so if you see me eating with my mouth full i'm sorry i like to talk just get comfortable because i know my last videos my other videos have been real short i talk a lot so and i get distracted these videos gonna be ooh. this video is gonna be long see i get distracted so enjoy i wrote a whole bunch of notes like it's a lot of notes so just get comfortable and enjoy this video and really like i really want you guys to really listen to what i'm saying because all of this stuff i've been through myself like all the advice i wrote is because i went through it i went to a hbcu i went to college very gullible fresh out of a relationship like please listen because i've been through all of this and it's only been my first semester my shirt keeps doing that i really don't like that but i'm gonna probably take Anywho. grab some snacks get some water all that stuff and just sit down and really really take heed to my advice because i'm not just wasting my time and wasting my breath like please listen to this we're gonna get into it enjoy <laughs> I go to an HBCU, I go to Prairie View a and University. I'm currently a freshman right now. I just finished my first semester. Currently, as y'all know, December, about to be January, I'm about to go back. I go back early because of dance. So, yes. So, I'm gonna just, all the advice you'll need as a freshman going into college at HBCUs and at PWIs. First, we're gonna start with roommates. So, for my college, what we used was um, RoomSync. And RoomSync basically is an app. And it like, you get to choose your roommates from there. The way you do it, you log in through your school account, I think. And like, you answer questions like, am I clean? Am I dirty? And like, just questions like that. Do I like to go outside? Am I extrovert? Am I introvert? Like, questions to get to know each other. And you choose your roommates, what it does, it like brings roommates to you based off of what you chose. So, don't believe that app. It's a lie. Trust me, it's a lie. And mind you, people do be lying on RoomSync. I have it right here. People lie on RoomSync because you just know it's a lie, okay? A lot of people, they'll be like, oh, I do this, I do that. You start living with them. Like, you learn that. Please choose your roommates wisely. I really, okay, I'm going to say this. I don't recommend rooming with your best friend or rooming with people you're close to because... Once you start rooming with people, you either end up hating them or y'all get extra, extra close. It's no type of in-between, by the way. So, like, I don't recommend you rooming with your best friends or people you're close to because you get tired of seeing them. 
Like my friends right now, if I room with them, oh baby. We'll make it work, of course, because we're good people. But like, I get tired of them. They get tired of me. We've told each other that. I love y'all. That's to my Jada, my Anna, and my Alex. And then my cousin, of course. I room with my cousin and two other people. I room with my cousin mostly. And at first, I feel like this has made us a lot closer. She's like my mom's sister's daughter. So we're really close. We were always close. But this is our first time like going to school and living together. And it made us extra close. We go through a lot of stuff. It's been rocky. Trust me. Me and her can both say that. We get on each other's nerves 24-7. It's been rocky. We've had like times where we yelled at each other. Yes. So that made us a lot closer. So rooming with family is different. I feel like. Yeah. But anyway, don't room with your best friend and stuff. And I put on here, girls are really weird. So be careful who you room with because keep keep your doors locked. Choose your roommates wisely. The only way you're going to have to choose your roommates is probably room sync. So if you're Christian, in this video, I'm going to be mentioning a lot of like praying and keeping God close. Because that's the only thing that got me through this first semester is praying. If y'all haven't had these chips, I don't know if they're, I don't know where they're from. I'm going to feel great. But yeah, so um, just pray. You meet good people because girls are really weird. And I'm going to go into that. Like, as a topic for college advice, girls is on here. So, like, I'm going to get into that. Trust me. But keep your room doors locked. I would understand if it's your best friend or someone you're close to. But with people you don't really know, keep your doors locked because girls are really weird. And I'll get into this more. But, like, they'll act like they like you and they'll act like they're your friend. But really, they're trying to, like steal your energy steal your aura like still a lot of stuff like girls are jealous i would just be careful personally because that's something i've dealt with since for a while and i'm gonna get into all that later too like you are what you attract so clearly i need to be a better person if i keep attracting weird people but sometimes weird people just like we're just weird so just be careful lock all your stuff and i'm gonna get into this too me and my cousin, we started sharing with our roommates and stuff in the beginning. And baby, all our food, all our food will be gone. So, like, just don't share. Like, just don't share. Like, don't share your food. Like, honestly, at first, me and my cousin, we went into it. We were like, we don't want to be those roommates who, like, you can't eat this, you can't eat that. And we still do that. Like, we'll offer stuff and everything. It's not like, oh, no, this is mine, this is yours. This is my side of the counter, this is yours. Like, no, we still share, like, seasonings and all of that stuff, which is good. But, like, our main foods, we used to share all that. Don't do that, okay? And if you are going to share, set down rules because that's what we lacked. We didn't set down any rules. We weren't like, hey, like, if it gets to the end of the box, don't finish it because we bought it, you know? Make sure you set down ground rules and everything. Y'all, you know, I feel like I look so, like, uncomfortable. But set down ground rules. And if you're going to share, make sure you, like I said, set down ground. I can't say that enough. Like, set down rules. Like, this is my favorite thing. I really don't want you to eat this. Ask before you eat anything. Don't eat your roommate's stuff. Like, just honestly have your own stuff. Me and my cousin, we got many fridges in our room. Because, yeah. So, like, have your own stuff. Have snacks in your room. Like, don't share everything. If that makes sense. I guess I could get into this, too. If, like, it gets to the point where something happened during the year with your roommate and everything's just awkward and stuff. Honestly, if you try to like be mature and go talk about it and that didn't go anywhere with the roommate, leave it alone. You don't have to talk to your roommates every day. You can go in your room, go to the kitchen when you need to. You don't have to be close with your roommates. You know what I mean? So like if it's waste if your energy is being wasted over and over, leave it alone. Leave it alone. That's the one thing I learned in college. Like energy and being wasted, that's a lot to deal with especially in college when you're a freshman do not like don't even let people don't let people waste your energy shoot try your best to choose the right people next topic is picking classes slash professors so i know at my school at my hbcu we have a lot of like african indian a lot of people that aren't like just basic like white and black and hispanic so like it's kind of hard to understand them and like truly People don't really care about us, if I'm being honest. So it's just kind of like, you can't understand your professors. And when you can't understand your professors, you can't learn. So take, just understand that. 
you're gonna be you're gonna be with professors who don't really i don't know how it is at pwi but i know mostly at colleges they have professors that like are speak their like foreign languages different languages their first language is something different so it's kind of hard to understand but i know at my school for your classes and everything we didn't get to pick our first semester classes like the school picked that so it was just kind of like they put you you didn't get to pick your times you didn't get to pick none of that so i don't know if that's how it is at different colleges and everything but just understand that that might be how it is for you especially if you're going to pv that's how it's going to be how it is for you so you won't get to pick your first semester cl um, classes but i'm an athlete so i don't know if i don't know if i told y'all but i'm on the dance team at pv the basketball dance team so not the black boxes but the panther dolls our season's coming up in january so like if y'all want to pop out and come to our games and watch me dance please come that's a greatly appreciated but i'm saying all this to say if your classes because i know we have practice time so if you are an athlete and you know you're going to be on something and you've already made the team for something make sure you know like what time your practices start and end so you know when to finish your classes all of my classes were mostly morning classes classes and they started at like 12 and they ended around 2. so i didn't have any classes after 2 50. after that i was done because my practice time was at 5 30 or 5 o'clock which i hate i'd rather have morning practices if i'm being honest but i hate afternoon practices but yeah so just make sure you email your professor, um, you, not professor, you email your, um, what do we call them? Baby, I don't even know, but it's like someone assigned to you. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry, y'all. I forgot what they're called, but email them and like, I forgot what they're called. But make sure you email them and then you tell them like, I have practices at this time. And just make sure you know like what time your practices will be at because I know, I ended my classes at 2.50 and I had 3, 4, and 5 to get ready for practice and take a nap and like calm down before I have to go. Because if you're an athlete, you know you want to be like mentally ready for a practice because practices can be very draining. So you want to be ready. And then also, choose good time. So like if you know you're not a morning person, do not go over there and choose an 8 a.m. I know you mostly hear don't choose 8 a.m., don't choose 8 a.m. Baby, I had an 8 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays every day. Well, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's not that bad. Like, if you just wake up, it's really not that bad. Now, it's different when you have a party the day before and you have to wake up. But, like, I wouldn't, if you know you don't wake up for classes, be smart and don't be stupid. Don't choose an 8 a.m. Like, read my lips. Please understand this. If you know you're not a morning person, don't choose morning classes. But another thing, especially if you go to an HBCU, because I know we be having parties during the week. Make sure your classes in. Don't have no don't have late classes. Like I don't know why people like 6 p.m., 8 p.m., 7 p.m., 9 p.m. Like why would you choose that? But some people like that stuff, and I'm not gonna judge you. Okay? So if you like that, choose that. But no, parties start around nine. Parties start sometimes there's like clubs and organizations hosting like events around like seven, six. And I'm gonna get into that too, because I have a lot to say about that. But just don't choose stupid, don't choose stupid times that don't align with you. So if you know you're a morning person and you like to wake up, choose a 9 a.m. I know I'm a morning person and I like to wake up, but I didn't like my 8 a.m.s a lot. But I liked getting done with classes early, if that makes sense. Just waking up for it was hard. So this semester, I chose 9 a.m.s and everything. So, But if you know you're a late person, start your day around like 1 p.m. and around like maybe 5, 30, 6. If you're not an athlete, because I know practices are during that time. And some people have practices. Some people have morning practices, too. But to my girls out there as well, try not to choose night classes. I do not want y'all walking around campus and it's dark outside. Boys in college are weird. Girls in college are weird. Just understand, once you get to college, you'll understand people have been raised differently. People are weird. People are weird. People are weird. Like, that's my main like advice to everybody to understand like people are genuinely weird. They have weird intentions towards you. So just be careful. Don't do nighttime classes to my girls. Just don't do it. Okay. I said I recommend choosing early classes because I like to get my day out the way. And you feel more productive when you wake up early and like you get work done. And then you have the rest of the day to yourself. Choose morning classes. And then take um your classes with friends. So mind you, don't take all of your classes with all of your friends. Like just don't take like every class you have a friend in there. You still want to meet new people. You don't want to be around the same group all throughout college. Like you want to make sure you have different friends, you know? Like be um versatile. Have like the nerdy kids, have like the fun people, like you know, choose your friends wisely. 
once you grow up you realize like you don't have to have just one friend group but you don't want a million friend groups don't be that person where you just hop around everywhere because you don't have anybody you trust you know what i mean but what i'm saying is like you'll realize you'll have a friend like you'll have a friend group for studying you'll have a friend group for partying you'll have a friend group that you trust to talk to your advice it doesn't have to be the same friends for me, I have the same friend group because I love them so much. I just love my friend group, but that's like very rare, I feel like. So just make sure you understand. I know for myself, I have my solid friend group, but I also have friends that like, oh, hey girl, you know, like people you can talk to, people you can work out with, like it's all different and that's okay. You don't have to have one friend group. Okay, get close with your professor. So like, make sure you understand that like during towards the end of the semester, when you start doing finals and everything and you're at like a 79 you want to get to an 80 are you at an 89 you want to get to a 90 are you at an 88 you want to get to 90 or a 77 you want to get to 80 if you're close with your professors and like they realize that you're a good student you go to class go to your classes and everything and they'll realize that they will bump your grade up they will be nice like make ask your professor how are you doing how's your family how was your holiday how was thanksgiving how was like you know ask your professors that and just be like be active in getting to know your professors and like be active in asking questions and i know you hear this a lot in high school but y'all i promise you in college your teachers don't care they don't care your professors i'm sorry get used to saying that too professor 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 your professors don't care if you pass if you fail they don't care if you come to class they don't care it's not like high school where they like email you and they're like oh where have you been and they send you your work no you're paying for your you're paying for school now you chose to go to school do that go to your classes like don't be one of them kids that's just like i'm not gonna go here i don't feel like it go to your class next topic balancing partying in school especially if you go to an hbcu you need to understand the habit of balancing parties and balancing school and keeping your grades that a's and b's i have it on here only get A's and B's, babe. Like, if you need to get a C, okay. Like, I understand if classes are hard. Do not fail. Do not fail. Try to get a 3.0 and above it's on your GPA, okay? Now, so schoolwork, the way I did it this year, I mean, this first semester, is schoolwork comes first. So I made sure, one thing about me, I don't, I don't procrastinate. A lot of my friends procrastinate a lot. I've never had that problem. My problem actually is I as soon as I get the work, I want to get it done and out the way because I like stress. So as soon as I get it, I get it done. So I feel like I'm very like, I'm grateful for that. But anyway, schoolwork always came first with me, no matter what, no matter how big the project is, as soon as I get that stuff, I'm getting it done and I'm getting it out the way because I stress, I overthink too much. And mm -mm. so just get your schoolwork out the way first. Okay, advice. If you're going to a party, make sure you know before the party if you're going to go to class or not the next day. Me and my cousin, the way we always choose, we always say, are we going to are we going to class the next day? And sometimes it will result in us being like, I don't know how we'll feel in the morning. So we don't know. But sometimes, like for our 8 a.m., because we had the same 8 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if there was a party Monday or if there was a party Wednesday or whatever, we would be like, are we going to go to class the next day? And we would make sure we know. So like I recommend doing that because you won't go home because you're already like out of it. You might have been drinking, smoking, or whatever. You're already out of it. So just make sure you know you have a plan beforehand. I'm going to class. So you need to know if you're going to drink a lot that night or not. Like, just plan your days. Like, think for the future. And I know, like, some people are like, T tomorrow's never promised. Still think for the future, baby. Like, just know if you're going to class. If you've missed that class already that week, be sure to go the next time. So the way I did it, if I missed, like, my 8 a.m. on Tuesday, I would make sure to go Thursday. Or if I missed my 8 a.m. on Thursday... I would make sure to go like the next day. I never miss a class more than twice unless it was for dance. So just make sure like during homecoming week, we had a lot of practices for dance and I couldn't go to class. But yeah, make sure you like, you know, like if you miss one day, go to class the next day. Like don't miss multiple times that week. Then first of all, not going to class makes you look bad by your professor because they actually look around. And if they notice your face, they're going to notice that you're there all the time. If you look new, they're going to notice you don't come to class. It makes you look bad. Just go to class, okay? Just go to class. And if you're not going to class, make sure you have somebody in that class that, like, they can sign you in even though you weren't there. Or they can tell you what's going on. Like, have a friend in those classes. And be the same for them. If they miss a class, be like, oh, I got you. And send them the work. Don't be, like, don't be weird. Just don't be weird. Just be a good person, okay? Go to class. Okay. Don't go to a party unless you finish all your work. 
that's just common sense. If you know you have work due the next day at 9 a.m. or the next day at 8 a.m. Because in college, in high school, it's all about 11.59s. In college, it's kind of the same thing. But then you have some stuff due at like 9 a.m. So be ready for that. Okay? Get your work done. Don't go to a party unless you finish your work. Understand that. Please understand. Just don't go. And then A's and B's only. This is already 22 minutes, y'all. So I'm going to move on to the next topic. Okay. College boys. Okay. My girls, just like sit down and really get comfortable for this, okay? I'm probably going to like rant. Yeah. College boys. The boys and the girls topic are like the main thing that I went through my first semester. So just listen to my advice on both, okay? College boys, if you are sexually attracted to boys, listen, be careful. Just, just be careful. Just like, just be careful. Okay, so be, I have first on here, be single freshman year. I went into college and I had a three-year relationship and we broke up right, right before I started like my college. And at first, I was like, I don't care what anybody says. Like, I'm going to be in a relationship and I'm going to be fine. I don't care what anybody says. And that's okay. If you know, I knew me and him could um, get through that. That wasn't the reason we broke up. So I knew me and him could get through that. But um, if you know, like, you've been in a relationship for a while and you trust your person, baby, it's okay. You can still have fun and be in a relationship. That's what I don't think people understand. You don't have to be single and be a hoe to have fun at all. And that's what people think you have to be a hoe in college. No, you don't. You really do not. You can still have fun and be in a relationship. Like, I hate when people say that. So just understand that I'm not saying, like, you need to be single to have fun. But I put be single freshman year unless you're already in a relationship prior. So when I when I say that, I say don't get to college your freshman year and get into a relationship. Because nobody wants to do that. Okay? And I learned. Nobody wants to do that. I learned that. Okay? So just go there, have fun, and be single. But if you're already in a relationship, it's okay to still be in that relationship. Okay? Just know it's going to be hard, especially if you're at different colleges and especially if you're at the same college as well. It's still going to be like a little rocky. Relationships are always rocky though. So college makes no difference unless you're insecure in your relationship. Don't. I have this in all caps. Don't. Look at my lips. Read read, read my mouth. Don't do situationships. Y'all have no idea. Do not do situationships. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, don't do situationships. I learned the hard way. And I put in um, parentheses, especially to all of my lover girls. I'm a lover girl. Understand my advice. Do not do situationships. They're not good for you. Even if you're not a lover girl. But no, that's not true. Especially for your lover girl. Just don't do them. Because I have friends and I have people I know that aren't lover girls and that don't get attached easily. Not even attached, but I just don't like... I'm just gonna say that don't get attached easily. They like, they're fine with doing situationships because they can handle that. If you know that like, you be falling in love with your sneaky link, or you just be falling in love, don't do it. Cause I did it. But I feel like now I'm realizing like, low key, it taught me a lot because like, yeah. But like, I just couldn't do it with him. Any other boy at that school, I can do the whole like, not getting the touch of stuff at least now probably because i've been hurt but like i can do all of that it was just i couldn't do that with him for some reason but now it's just kind of like i don't really get attached i feel like once you go freshman year and you go through stuff you'll like you'll get used to it and like you'll be more like put on to the game i guess maybe i don't know just listen don't do situations just... i also put on here every college boy especially at HBCUs want to be a hoe their freshman year. I've sat there and I've heard boys talking about like, I'm gonna get all the girls. Like they truly like, I go to PV. So I guess my little, my mindset's a bit like censored a little bit just because I don't know how boys act at different HBCUs, but mine is more direct and like telling you no, just because I've experienced it and I see it like, especially PV boys, they just don't like, they all want to be hoes the freshman year and they want to settle down close to junior and senior year. Just don't, don't get, like, just don't get, don't fall in love. Don't fall in love. Just don't. Okay. Yeah. 
don't make anything serious just have fun with your girls so like by that i mean like if you want to like just talk to boys and like baby talk to boys go out and have fun talk to multiple boys have fun okay because one thing for sure they be talking to multiple girls so never feel bad don't feel bad if you have a good heart you're gonna feel bad anyway but have fun like and by have fun i don't mean go be a hoe but like you don't have to sit down and just talk to one boy like make sure you have multiple people to talk to and that's okay that's not a hoe just don't be having sex with all these people i'm gonna get into sex later don't don't do that just don't do that not even just sex don't just don't do sexual stuff like don't be letting every boy eat down there don't be letting every boy like kiss every like just mm -mm, mm -mm, just don't do that cuddle's fine i'm sure if you want to just cuddle with a boy cuddle with a boy that's different but like all the sexual stuff your body is uh what is it your body is a um i forgot what the word is yeah i don't know what's going on i'm forgetting all my words but your body is like a sanctuary like it's pure your energy is pure don't go over here getting attached to all these boys and you're gonna get hurt i promise you don't be looking for no relationship freshman year i don't know i don't know what i was doing my first semester i'm gonna just blame it on me like i was just head over heels that's an, that's another topic for another day but just don't like you learn a lot and like now i understand and now i understand like i guess where everything was coming from nobody wants to settle down my freshman year i didn't even want to settle down because i was out of a three-year relationship so it's just kind of like just don't get attached okay don't get attached especially my lovely girls just protect your heart that's it just protect your heart don't get attached because things change quick okay I said, don't make anything serious. By that, I mean, don't put a title on nothing. Don't have a situation shit. Just be having fun. Like, just talk to people. Literally, that does not matter. Just talk to people. Hang out with your girls. Meet a good core girlfriend group that's like, that loves you and that has no jealousy intent, no malicious intent towards you. You won't know till you pray about it, baby. Just pray. Just pray. Don't, just like, don't make boys your focus, you know? And then, no sex. I put that in all caps. So, and I also put in parentheses, mention energy transfers and like soulmate and all that stuff. So when you have sex with somebody, you're transferring energy. You're letting them into you. You're, you're becoming one. I don't care what anybody says. Like, that's not even soulmate stuff. When you're having sex with somebody, you're in each other. Understand that. So who you have sex with is important. And that's what I'm saying. Don't trust people off the bat. If you have a trusting heart, don't do that. Especially the boys out here, freshman year. They don't want you. They don't want to they don't want to fall in love with you. They don't want to like they're not thinking about that. They they want to have fun. They want to up their count. And I'm not saying all boys, but most boys want to up their count. Do not fall for it. No sex. You can still have fun without sex. No sex, okay? Unless like you're in a committed relationship. And okay, let's say you do want to have sex. If you want to do it for the plot do it for the plot okay just one thing i know for sure the stuff that my first semester that i did for the plot i was on my bathroom floor crying i was in my room crying i like you can ask my cousin like this year has been very draining because i did stuff just to do stuff for the plot just because i'm like i played it safe you know okay i'm not gonna say don't do it but i'm gonna say just be ready for character development be ready to be praying every day to heal yourself. Like be ready, just be ready for the hard stuff that you're gonna have to go through because of the what you what you put yourself through. Cause I can blame everything that happened to me this year on me. And that's one thing I can blame. I can blame it on me. And I can blame it for having a big heart. I can blame it for trusting people. I can blame it for falling for people. You know? Like I can blame that all on me. I'm not gonna put that all on them. And you'll realize that later. But if you're going to do stuff for the plot, be ready for the consequences is what I'm saying. One thing I put on here also, use condoms no matter what. For some reason in college, boys, um, they talk about they don't like using condoms. Look at my eye. Don't give three Fs. Three flying Fs. Always use a condom. Even if you're on birth control, baby, you can still get pregnant. Know that much. On birth control, 
I've seen it. Baby, this whole first semester, people have been pregnant. People get pregnant. It's easy. It's easy to get pregnant out here. Use condoms. Even on birth control. Use condoms. You can still get pregnant. Okay, don't but I was saying after the whole boy stuff, I was saying don't be stupid. Just be careful who you decide to talk to with boys. And the last thing on that was don't be a don't be a hoe, but still have fun. Like I put in parentheses, learn the game. Learn how boys are playing the game and also play the game. Okay. That's all my advice, okay? Just don't get hurt. Protect your heart. Keep your pure energy and everything. And understand that, that, that there's stuff that you need to work on too. So just don't get attached and just learn the game that they're playing, okay? Especially if you want to protect your heart. To my lover girls, read my lips. Learn the game. Okay, I'll do a part two and then I'll finish off with joining clubs, weight gain, sex, drugs, alcohol, and last but not least, girls. Like girl friendships and all that. Okay, y'all, because I have no storage, I have to end this video really quick. I'm going to do a part two, so just be tuned for the part two of this video of freshman college advice. And thank you for supporting me and watching my video, and I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm trying to hurry before I run out of storage again. This is so embarrassing, but love y'all. I hope you enjoyed, and please take heed to all of my advice. I hope you guys have a great freshman year, and I hope if you're transferring, you have a great semester. You can, you can.